Hi there. Well, we've uh, we've gone for it, and we have upgraded the plasma massively. Um, we've only been well. We've gone to town with it, to be honest. Uh, we have now increased the beam length, as you can see there, to accommodate the rotary. So now we're looking at the rotary is sitting like that. Everything's more stable, everything's more solid. Um, yeah, it's all good. Uh, we've raised the beam. So we've gone from 100 mil to uh, 160. We've used thicker material. We've gone front face with the SBR. We've cut that down to SBR 16. Um, it seemed the more sensible thing to do, uh, mainly because I had it. And we have centrally mounted the X-axis motor now, so we've more or less centrally mounted that. I'm going to have to go to spring loading these. Um, it's a it's not grouchy but it's not as smooth as it could be so we're going to spring load the uh the motors onto the uh rack some people say oh you're going to ruin the uh bearings in the motors and all that kind of stuff but to be honest they're so cheap um it doesn't really don't really matter uh too much so there we go um i'm gonna do some test cuts in a minute um we have been cutting out some 10 mil Everything is just so much smoother. Beautiful cuts. No problem with any of that. Everything's gone off square, clean. In fact, uh, the chuck mount itself um, was cut out using the machine before we set up the rotary. And a few other bits and pieces we've made uh, out of it as well. Oh, the, the follower as well for the... Uh, for the tube cutter, so the follower's been made out of 10 mil now. So we've gone really all out, heavy. Uh, had to relocate for come the, a couple of the sensors, uh, a couple of hard stops. Uh, other than that, it's the, it's the same machine. But uh, there you go, I thought I'd give you uh, an update as to where we are with it. It's taken us two days. Two of us, two days, ripped the old part out and uh, put this uh, new beam in and all the other bits and pieces that go with it. So it's been a bit of a challenge and it's been a couple of long days, but we've just made everything as stable as we can. So you can see we've actually even put some, a uh, couple of gussets underneath there. We'll box off all of these. We've got to put a stiffener in that um, box section just to make sure there's no lateral vibration. It's not vibration. Um, it's uh, resonant vibration it's what it is it's the motors and any uh, any constant uh, pulses and it builds and builds and builds and builds and builds and builds and it's uh, it's called resonant, resonant frequency and that is happening on some parts of this still and to get rid of that we just need to make sure we put some a couple of plates in those box section just to take away any lateral movement at all uh, all the bearings brand new on it the we use the same rail. Um, yeah, what can I say? I'll get a I'll get a tube demo going in a minute, and then you can see how much better it cuts. Um, we do have a piece down here, but uh, I think it still might be a little bit on the. Uh, oh no, it's not. So, um, yeah, I mean it's it's. I can't really see that there's that much of a difference, but if you look at the cut there. That is a lovely smooth cut and some of these previous cuts you can see have got a little bit of judder and you know torch wobble and stuff like that even more so on the uh, not so round holes so if you look at that that's a little bit messy whereas that is a much much cleaner hole and um, still needs a little bit of tweaking you can see the but holes are never good on plasma anyway there once you get that small they don't really stay round but hell that's round enough to get a bolt through right uh, so there we go that's just a little test piece we did earlier uh, and we went to cut off as many five mil pieces as we could uh, as a pointless exercise really it just melts it but uh, like I say I'll get a I'll get a sample going in a minute I've got a few things to do to it 
Uh, the follower isn't quite low enough, we're about 3 mil and we're at the full extent of our slot range, which is a bit of a ball egg. I just have to re-drill a few holes, that's all. Uh, and then we'll be there. So stand by and I'll be back shortly. Okay, well I'm back after a little bit of uh, playing around, a little bit of truing up and a few other bits and pieces. Um, so we are ready to go for a test cut. Well, several test cuts have already been cut, if you know what I mean. Um, the MyPlasm screen shows it like this um, and these sorts of things. Mustn't have THC on, mustn't have OMEX sensors on or anything like that. It just really doesn't like it. So once again, here's this setup. Uh, we've got the weighted uh, braid here. Yeah, so our earthing braid. Um, and we've weighted it using a carabiner. Eh, why not? Um, Jury rig this, that's a bolt hole all the way through. Um, we know then that it's always going to be central, it's always going to be where it needs to be. Um, there's our A uh, homing limit switch. Uh, we've used a geared motor on the, uh, on the drive, mainly because it's going to be, well, it hasn't got to turn that fast, so that's the main thing. A uh, very important addition. And this is the same, exactly the same setup that I've showed you before. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, figure out a way of laser cutting these holders out. We're going to, you can see it's just completely jury rigged with bolts and little bits of tube, but we'll do needle bearings and things like that for that. And that's the thing we need to upgrade really, is the these little followers. But that's said and done. Uh, as you can see, there's a fine cut uh, consumables are in, because that's the fine cut shroud on the outside. Um, and all that leaves me to do really is uh, hit the old F5. Let's zoom in a little. Okay, and let's see it do its thing. Here we go. And there you go. That's the uh, oh, just as the compressor comes on. Uh, but that's it. Uh, we'll wait until the noise dies down a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, we'll have a little look at that piece later. Uh, so, just to show you what we've done again, this is the configuration now, and we can easily, easily cut plate. Um, by just raising the torch because we've got a longer z-axis drop now so the as you can see we've got 250mm z-axis to play with and that lifts the torch well above the waterbed and well above the plate and that, that makes it dead easy for us to move from one from flat sheet to rotary uh, this is one thing that uh, is Maybe an improvement in my plasma at some point. Um, we'll see what Lucas has got to say. Uh, but it'd be nice if we could really could lay out a hop from flat sheet to rotary um, without having different profiles. But I'm sure it's a little bit more complicated than it sounds. So uh, anyway, please like and subscribe. Um, uh, if you like us, happy days. It wouldn't hurt if you told me why you liked us. And exactly the same applies with if you don't like it. If there's anything you think I'm doing wrong or anything you think I could be improved, uh, then please let us know. Uh, we are going to be modifying the torch holder. I'm nervous about the torch holder because, as you can see, the torch is low. Um, if we crash into the side of the machine, it's going to wreck the better part of a uh, 600-700 bucks torch, and uh, I'm not really into that. So we're definitely going to have to have collision detection on the torch head now and, and clean it. <laughs> it's cleaning. Uh, I rarely paint anything because I find it a complete and utter waste of time. It'll never rot out in my lifetime, so uh, it is what it is. Anyway, like I say, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, like I say, please like it and subscribe. And uh, looking forward to the next uh, adventure, whatever that's going to be. Uh, I think it's probably going to be um, the rebuild of that beast in the distance, which is the little, um, the little press brake that needs so much work it's going to cost a lot of money 
Uh, forklift has got a ram seal broken, so I've got to sort that out. Uh, selling the uh, blasting pot. Um, so, there you go. There's the machine in all its glory again. I hope you like it, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.